Good morning and welcome back to another video. Um, you join me in my truck. It is currently Monday morning. It's two minutes to six. Uh, I've got to head up the road to Leicester first to drop off this load of feed barley. I didn't get it dropped off on Saturday. Uh, the mill wouldn't let me in, even though I turned up there on time. Uh, so I have got my 360 camera with me so you'll be seeing a bit of that and apart from that I've packed all my, my stuff away for the week um, I've got a new tray that I need to it's basically for my food to stop my food flying around in the cupboard um, I've got the essentials there there, it's a monster. I can't live without a monster. I've got three in the fridge at the minute. Um, but yeah, we shall make our way up to Leicester, and I'll see you over there. I'll see you on the way up when it gets a bit lighter. All right, catch up with you in a bit. In the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light I won't know until I get in, which will be in two seconds. All right, no one's queuing that I can see. So hopefully I should be all right. Still got more paperwork from last week. Oh, no, well, there's someone tipping, but there's no one queuing, so. As I haven't been here before properly, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -mm -mm. 
so I'm just doing it on that. I'll take in my paperwork and the passport. I'll find out what we're doing. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I've made it up to Leicester. Um, I'm just waiting to go into the uh, tip now. I think it's going to be one of those days. After I've tipped here, I've got to go down to uh, Newton Trailers to get my sheep repaired because my bar is bent up at the back. And then I've got to make my way down to Irith near Dartford so that I can um, collect my first load for the week. Because technically this isn't my first load for the week. <clears throat> so now it's just a waiting game. I'm waiting for there's a um, there's a driver on there now tipping, um, and then I've got to wait for the the pit to change from rape mill to uh, barley, which is what I've got, <clears throat> and then we can move on. So until then, it's just a waiting game. I've been here for. 16 minutes so far so yeah it's a waiting game now wait and find out what we're doing but until then right so i'm just making my way around to tip now i just had to wait for one of the trucks to finish basically uh, but this lorry in front of me now is tipping uh, I'll pick two, and I've got to go on pick Pretty sure I just smacked the bumper off the floor because it made a hell of a bang. But now I'm just waiting for them to come and tell me that I can tip. Right, so we're away in tipping. Um, it's tipping quite quickly, to be fair. Uh, I've only got eight turn left. Twenty, 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 twenty. It goes down 20 kilo intervals. Um, I did have to lift my trailer bar because I scraped it on the floor. I didn't realize that um, my rear crash bar doesn't clear the pit because obviously there's a wheel stop, but it's lower than the wheel stop. So I've had to lift that 
Um, so once I pull out, I'll put that back down. The pit here is quite big, to be fair. Like it took a good eight, nine ton off my truck before the uh, sock had filled. So that's the way in tipping. My jobs are being changed around now, so I'm not going out here. I've got to go to Oxford after I get my trailer fixed. It is, like I said, it is tight. It's tight to get into this pit. I've got a curb down one side and a building down the other. I don't know what kind of day I'm gonna have, but like I said, down to Newtons. Um, get that repaired. I'm gonna try and get my uh, mud guard lifted because it's, it's either loose or it's, it's been caught. So I'm gonna get that lifted. And apart from that, everything is going well so far. As well as it could. Yeah, I'll finish up in this and then I'll get off down to Newtons, try and get my trailer repaired and then we will be off. Right, it's sorted. I just had to put my bumper back down from where I raised it. There's no parking, but I need to do my paperwork. Oh, I just need to do my phone. Quick. Fucking heating down now. Right, we're off. Off ski. Turn that heat seat off and all. Shepshed, Leicestershire, I'm pretty sure it's Leicestershire. Um, that's so bright. What's going on? So yeah, we're leaving Shepshed, straight back down the M1, for like 50 odd miles. Come off the Junkie 13, try and get my trailer repaired. Um, it's just my, the middle sheet that the sheet rolls on. What? It's bent up at the back, but it's like not at the very back, it's towards the back. But because it's bent up, it's bending, it's like lifting the sheet at the very back. So on Saturday, when I left here, I had grain flying out the back, which was not ideal. Uh, so I pulled over to try to find out where it was, but couldn't see anything. Uh, and then I started rolling up my sheet and there it was flying out the back so yes. the 
to take about, I haven't put my sat down on, I know where I'm going. But time wise, I'd say about an hour ish, something like that. I shall see you when I'm down there and get it repaired. Until then, uh, I'll see you in a minute. So, uh, a bit of a situation update. Uh, coming down the M1, uh, I don't know what it was, I think it was just before jun Junction 20. I had a lorry overtaken me and I heard a massive bang, like, as in lorry tyre explosion bang. And I've looked at all my tyres, like, from the cab, can't see anything. So, I don't think of anything of it. So I've just realised that my lift axle on the trailer is down. It shouldn't be down. High compression, high compressed air consumption. Yeah, I've got, I think I've got a blown air bag. Because, um, yeah, the dash says that my lift axle's up. But it's not. So if I pull over here, I'm going to have to leave the engine running on five preps. Jesus Christ. So I've got one tire on the floor, one tire's not on the floor. Oh, pain in the ass, man. As you can see, my lift axle airbag's blown. So that side is off the ground. Is this one inflated? No. So this tire is only just on the floor. Oh, that's not what we needed. Right, I need to carry on driving otherwise. I'll lose my pressure and then we won't be able to get to get it repaired which is not what I want so back on CM1 I've got to quickly get down to junction 13 I'm up at 18 uh, I'm gonna ring the fleet manager and ask him to add a lift axle airbag onto the list of things that are wrong with my trailer so Right, situation update. I've made it to Newton Traders, finally. As for wait time, I'm probably gonna be here a while because they've got to wait for workshop space because they've got to keep the body of my, um, the body of my trailer dry. And as you can see, it's raining. Nice! It's raining, so I need workshop space, and yeah, on the way here, my airbag blew. So, Monday is turning out to be oh, just one of those days, I think. I've waited for some workshop space, get it repaired, and I can be on my merry way over to Oxford. Um, <clears throat> yeah, over to Oxford, get loaded with some feed barley, take that down to the Portbury in Bristol. And I'm not sure what we're doing after that. But I think I'm going to sit down and have some lunch whilst I'm here. Because I'm going to be here a while. Just one of those days, I guess. Just one of those days. But I'll catch up with you soon. As soon as I find out what they're doing with me trailer. Got a little situation update. Which is not going well for my day. Um, I'm still trying to get my trailer repaired. Uh, in Milton Keynes. I have been here just in this spot for two hours and 50 minutes. Before I put the trailer inside, I was here for an hour. So, hour and 50 minutes, uh, three hours and 50 minutes. Uh, so, I've had my lunch and stuff like that. I'm currently um, just editing my first video uh, now. Um, 
It's about 30 minutes long, something like that. There you go. 32 minutes. 19 seconds to be exact. So, when you're watching this video, you would have known that I was editing this video, my first video, on my YouTube channel, on the day I was making this video, basically. So, so far today, I started at half five, I took that load up to Leicester, got it tipped, and I come straight here, um, and I'm still waiting for my sheet and airbag to be fixed. So it bodes well for my day, I guess. Um, but until then, um, we're just waiting to find out what I'm doing. It's just a waiting game now. So the time is now 15.37 and I'm only just leaving the place that fixed my trailer. I got here at 25 past 10. I've been here for like six odd hours. So today has been a bit of a cop out. Um, so now I'm supposed to be loading Oxford to um, Bristol so that the farmer's grain can get cleaned. Um, so. I'm not going to make it tonight. I would have got there at quarter to, uh, quarter to five, but it's not going to load me, which is um, fair enough. Like, there's nothing I can do. So I'm going to head over to Cherwell Valley and that's where I'm going to park for the night. Oh, it's been one of those days today. What are you going to do? It's not, not a lot you can do. At least I've got my trailer repaired, I guess. What? Oh mate, your van's a bit smoky. I can't see, I'm not going. That's why I'm not going. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's a nice little rainbow behind me. I don't know if you can see it. At the roundabout, take the second exit way 421. I'm hoping I get parked because Chowell Valley has just gone to Snap and obviously my company used Snap so all the drivers can park safely. Uh, but, like, funny story, I went into Chowell Valley on a, a week um, and I went in there. Do you have Snap? No, we're not Snap. I was like, oh, right, okay. Paid £34 to park and a meal voucher. Um, £31 I can get back through expenses. Um, and so I paid it. One, literally the following, this was on a Thursday going into a Friday night because I was tipping, I was literally tipping around the corner so I thought I'd go, like, I thought it was on Snap. Because I read somewhere that all motors were going to Snap. Not. I went in there in the hope that I get parked. No, it's already not a so I paid. Literally the Monday, I went into Chowell Valley. The snap. I was like, what? So I wasted all my money parking. I didn't even need to, like, obviously I need to because otherwise I get a ticket, but I didn't need to. I didn't get one more. I'm going to go over the mini roundabout to Milton Keynes and catch up with you over there basically.
just pulling up to achieve these services. What? Uh, I'm hoping I get parked. It's only half four. But like I said earlier, it gets rammed now that it's moto and it's on the M40. The M40 isn't exactly a busy motorway. Hopefully I'll get a space. So I've spent most of my time trying to get my trailer fixed. Which doesn't bode well for my week. A fantastic Monday. Fantastic start to my week. Turn right onto Charwell roundabout, then keep right. Ch Charwell? It's Charwell, is it? Right, so we're just pulling up to achieve these services. Well, I can see spaces. Uh, uh, uh. Why is there a car? Why is there a car in the services? In the lorry, two cars. I'm guessing that's nothing to do with you. No, no, mate. Is he going? Yeah, he's moving in. Oh, right. Yeah, he's going to go to work on the MSR. Sweet. What's this fridge you got? What the hell? Where are you going? Alright, oh, okay, sorry. I'm aware of where you need to go. Space. I'm guessing recovery lorries just leave cars willy nilly where they fucking want. Which is annoying for us lorry drivers, but I've got parked up nice and early. I've got to be at home tomorrow night um, for parents' evening for my little boy. Um, but apart from that, I guess I'm going to go in. Get my parking ticket, um, and then come back and make some food, and then I've got nothing to do for the night. Basically, I think I'm just going to sit and watch a load of stuff on YouTube. So I will go in. Like I said, I'll go into services, and I shall be back. All right, so I've been in. I've paid paid me way. Um, I've got my snap voucher or the snap parking for the truck and all the motos do like a uh, HEV food voucher which is like you pay three pounds you get ten pound vouchers basically but I thought I'd buy it it lasts a month so it's just sat in my drawer for now um, but for dinner I have normally I always have a salad so I always have shredded lettuce cucumber cheese and mayonnaise don't judge me i just and i don't know why i eat salads i don't exactly need to but it's just it's just nice sometimes um so i've got i'm making myself a little stir fry basically 
So Aldi do these like already cooked noodle packs. For, like they got in the microwave for two minutes. Um, I've got some blue dragon teriyaki sauce. Uh, I went to Costco on Sunday. And Costco do Costco do these massive what is it, 25. I don't know. It's oh, 440 grams of um, 440 grams of chicken, basically, to so like chicken skewers. Um, I've got YouTube on my iPad. I'm just watching Joe. So shout out to Joe. Um, and yeah, so get that cooking. Um, I'm here. I've I can't be on the farm in the morning until eight o'clock. Or he won't load me to wait. So I get a bit of a lion, which helps. So, yeah, I think that's it for Monday. I didn't really have a good day because I spent most of my day getting my trailer repaired. But it's just one of those things. So tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have a more productive day. Um, and I'll take you along with me for that. So. Until the morning, enjoy whatever it is you're doing, and I'll see you. I'll get back to the video in the morning, basically. So, good night.